Hi, this is Bill Hewitt and Dana Collins. How you doing? PowerStrokeHelp.com. I'm talk to you, talk to you all about some trucks we have for sale. First thing I'd love to do is, is extend to you the, the hope that you had a safe and wonderful Memorial Day weekend. If you had trouble with your truck, though, and that was one of your challenges this weekend, then we're the guys to talk to. Um, we can help you. We can help you with that. One of the main things that we want to talk about here is in the first part of this video is some of the restoration process that we go through, not on just the me mechanical part, which you've seen a lot of my mechanical videos if you've paid attention to this site uh, and to what I do on YouTube. What we're going to talk about is the, the body restoration and the interior restoration. You know, my objective when I buy these trucks is to buy them the body as straight as possible. I'm, I'm, I'm not interested in miles. What I'm interested in is the body work I'm going to have to do because that's not my skill set. My skill set is mechanical. I can fix anything mechanical. We have the technology to do that. Yes, we do. Hey, this is Bill here at PowerStrokeHelp.com. Before I talk about the trucks we got for sale, I want to talk a little bit about the restoration process that we put these trucks through. And it really is a restoration. Yeah, we're going to mechanically upgrade the truck. We're going to bring it back up to, you know, a mechanical viability. But especially on these Lariats and King Ranches and some of these higher-end trucks that we work with, it's really a restoration. Uh, of course, I, I try to start with absolutely rust-free bodies. Uh, I, I like uh, Texas trucks, uh, East Texas, um, you know, anything that's pretty much from the south. I don't like going into Florida much because of the salt air, especially South Florida. They, they come up rusty. Or there are people from up north that have registered in Florida and they're rusty junk. Uh, I have a very kind of tight area. You know, if Southern California wasn't so far away, I'd be buying the heck out of trucks out there, but the shipping costs are ridiculous. So I stick with trucks that are rust-free. It's what I begin with, a good airframe. Mileage on the airframe generally doesn't mean anything to me, uh, frankly, because I'm going to go through it anyway. I'm going to check everything and, and make sure everything's up to speed mechanically. So really, we're repowering it. We're going through all of the, the necessary things to, to make sure that the truck's going to be viable. And I give a warranty. I mean, I give a lifetime warranty on the head gasket. Ford Motor Company didn't have that kind of warranty on this truck when it was new. But what I want to talk about now is the restoration of the cosmetics of the truck, the paint, the interior, um, and the things that we do to make the truck just pop and be as absolutely as good as it can for the customer. This is a truck that's in process here. Uh, it was bought as a theft recovery. Um, it hadn't been beat on, but it, you know, it's got the faded paint. It's got the, uh, you know, the faded headlights. It's, you know, we're going to put an emblem here. Uh, and what I want to demonstrate is I've got a full-time detail guy now. I mean, this is all he does is, is work with the, with the body and the paint uh, and the interior to make sure that these trucks are absolutely as slick as they can possibly be. So this truck was a theft recovery, so we're, you know, first of all, working on the steering column. We've done all the mechanical restoration. She's 183,000. Uh, we're still in process. Like I say, we've got um, fan clutch we got to do. I think that's a glow plug relay. Uh, we, uh, you know, there's a, a key that, reminder thing that dings. We've got we've to fix this thing because it dings all the time. i got to fix seat belt somehow or another. Some of these farm boys have just cut damn seat belt just so they can stick the, you know, stick the thing in there so that it won't ding. People, it's you know, so I, I gotta get a new seatbelt. You, you can't you can't buy these used. It's illegal to sell used seatbelts. You have to buy them brand new from Ford. Um, but a, you know, nice truck. But the big thing I want to show you here is is the level of detail that we go to. I mean, all the seats have been pulled out of this truck. When the cab was off of it, the seats were pulled out. The carpet was steam cleaned. Uh, it's, it comes back, it smells good. You know, this was not a hard to use truck. One of the things I look for is how straight this is right here. If it's been, you know, carrying around a lot of heavy stuff that's gotten slung around inside the bed. And this bed's never had a bed liner in it. It's no hitch on this truck. This truck's never worked hard. That's the kind of truck I like. And there's, you know, no rust. It's a southern truck, but let's talk about the paint a little bit. On the front of the truck here, we can see that, that my detailer has done half the hood on purpose. Uh, we're now moved on and we're using a ceramic process that actually seals the paint. Note the headlight. The headlight's been done. You know, they've been cleaned. Uh, come with a two-year warranty for fading. You know, this is what it looked like to begin with. It had a little fade in it. Uh, he removes all of that. It gets as clean as it can get. But the ceramic process is amazing. This truck was very, very faded. Uh, you know, it's, it's East Texas, man. It's, 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 it's you know, San Antonio. Uh, out that way, you know, it's the sun just beats on this paint and I'm sure that nobody's ever waxed or bothered with it The paint at all. So this is what it looks like. This is not wet sanded This is not like, you know, somebody's put 3,000 grit to it And this is the kind of shine that he's able to get out of it with this ceramic process um, We've moved on from perma finish. Uh, it's not that they're bad people, but we found something better uh, And this guy's close by so I don't have to I don't have to have a an hour and a half two and a half hour round trip 
uh, and I'm very, very happy with the work that I've seen uh, from, from my detail guy. But we're doing it in-house. He comes over here. He works here three days a week. He'll spend, he and his brother will spend almost two days on a truck uh, getting it just right. But you can see how slick this paint is. This has been treated, and this is, you know, it's a 10-year-old paint job, factory paint job. I mean, it's absolutely as slick as it can possibly be. I'm a, I'm a total, total fanatic about paint. I love paint. I'm a mechanic, but I love paint. I love it. Look at the tailgate. I mean, you know, it's got a, one little dent back here. This is the only dent I can really find on the whole truck is this one right here. And we're act actively searching for a, a paintless dent removal guy. But, you know, that's about the biggest pick. And right here, we've got to go back over to the paint shop and get this quarter panel done. Once we get the quarter panel painted here, uh, then we will go ahead and uh, do the ceramic finish on it. But you can see the fade in the paint. This paint has not been treated, and it's, and it's real dry. It has that sort of dry fade to it, and you see the, the, it's hard to see the reflection in it. But you just move up here to the door where it's been done, and look at, look at the shine. I mean, the difference in the shine is amazing. Look at that. Just absolutely amazing. And it, so the, taking the truck from this level to this level is really the key to success here. You know, we're going to do the details like the emblem. This truck will look as good as it possibly can. And that's the point of what I'm trying to say, is let's make the vehicle look as good as it possibly can so it's presentable to the customer and uh, they can go down the road and feel really good about the money that they've spent on it. You know, it's a restoration process. And unfortunately, it's expensive. You know, it's cheaper than actually painting the truck, but yet the quality of the, the end product is so much better if you can stick with a factory paint because the factory paint's been on there for 10 years. It's stuck real good. It's got a good shine if we can bring it back. And so this is, this is the process that we do so that we can deliver the absolute best product to our customer that we possibly can. One of the little things I want to show you if you're out looking for a truck, you know, it's powershowkelp.com. We're always trying to give information out here. But when you're looking at a truck, it's per sale. Always look right here, especially on these trucks, because this is how they stale them. Okay, you take a thin screwdriver and you pop it in here, and it will pop that door lock up. And once you get the lock up, uh, they'll go in here, and they'll take like a pipe wrench and grab this, uh, grab this part right here and yank it. And it, and it, and it will break the interior... Uh, pieces inside here. Sometimes we can repair a column, uh, but most times it damages the column internally and we can't fix it. Um, it's just, this, you know, basically how good a thief stole the truck. I got, a, I got a spot here on my own personal truck where somebody in Memphis, when I was visiting Memphis, I was actually burying my mother. Some son of a bitch tried to steal my truck, but this truck has an alarm on it uh, because I grew up in Memphis. I know who lives there. I have an alarm on my truck. This, they, they go in here and they pop this lock and then they're in. So they'll, they can have this truck and be down the road inside of a minute if they're good. Um, so you've got to protect yourself. But the big thing is, is that if you see this on a truck that you're buying, make sure you do a Carfax and uh, make sure you do a Carfax and make sure you determine whether it's got a salvage history on it because of theft. That is an absolute indicator that someone has stole this truck. And if they give you two separate keys, if they give you two separate keys, one for the door, one for the column, that's another idea that they may have a theft recovery. I got no problem with the theft recovery because I'm, I'm going to disclose it to my customer, but, you know, car guys are going to keep their mouth shut at certain points and just not tell you the, all the truth that they know. I'm going to show you all quick, real quick here on a truck. It's about to go to California that's been fully detailed here with the, the ceramic coating that we use. I mean, look at the, look at the way this paint came back. I mean... The, and he redid the whole interior. You know, sweat stains you can't do anything about on these seats. But by golly, you can you can get this King Ranch interior back if it's not beat up. Um, this one's about to go to California. Just got done with it. Actually had to put stock exhaust back on it off another truck. You know, that's unusual. How many times have you put on a uh, a factory exhaust back on a truck, but that's California, man. You got to do it their way. The level of detail, a level of attention to detail here in this truck, uh, making sure that it, it looks as good as it possibly can uh, for the customer. Um, it's got a little, little, little bit of dust on it here. Can't get it. It can't get it perfect. If the paint's not there, you know we can't we can't fix it. It's uh, one of those little things. Uh, somebody done some touch up here, but but in terms of the finish of the truck, um, we can never get perfection, but we can certainly make it look really, really, really good. Do what we can to work with what we got uh, to make the, the finish just as good as possible. You know, I buy these trucks based on straightness, not on miles. 
because uh, you can have a 300,000 mile truck that doesn't have a scratch in it and you can have a 50,000 mile truck that looks like dogs lived in it so I'm, I'm based what I buy on the body itself and and you know we're able to get a very high level of success in terms of of, of uh, making the, the vehicle look just as as good as it possibly can but this is a ceramic coating that we're using now uh, and I'm absolutely tickled to death with it uh, and how it's turned out and how it looks I mean look at the look at the look at the the, the reflection in the paint I mean it's amazing to me and I love perma finish but this guy comes to me and uh, you know price is actually a little bit more but uh, but you know what the guy does such a, a tremendous job and does everything does the interior the exterior and and we end up with a truck that's just just as slick and as sharp as it possibly can be here's the other thing that we do that nobody else does with these trucks this is a 135,000 mile truck um, that, that you know had a side impact and and you might have remembered it rear end on the far side had been knocked loose and there's some body damage on the driver's side but here's the reason we take apart every motor this thing actually has a camshaft failure which lobe is it, Chris? Can you see which one it is? Oh yeah, right there. Look at that. It looks like it looks like rust. And so what happens is, is this motor evidently had sat up for a long time. Either they had a uh, EGR cooler failure that got water down in the engine, but it, it took the scoring off of here. Now what happened? The reason why we figured this out was that we took the bottom end of the motor loose, and we always checked the main and rod bearings, and it, it was obvious that some metal had passed through here. I can see the see the lines in the crank there. See if this little camera, this overpriced camera can actually see the lines of this high definition. Once we saw that we knew that there was a, a much more serious issue in this motor uh, and you know body damage was just a small part of it so we got to go through this engine. We're going to have to rebuild this engine or put another rebuilt one in there because uh, I, I can't certainly can't sell this to a customer and you know expect it to hold together and then be happy. So this is scrap at this point. Maybe the light will show. One of the other things that's happened here is that you can see down in there in the water jackets in there that it's very rusty. Uh, somebody had been running water for a very long time in this engine. And what happens when you do that is uh, it will rust the, the water jackets. And then when you do the head gasket job or do the work to the engine, and you put the new oil cooler, all that rust comes loose inside there and ends up in the, the oil cooler and then the oil cooler won't exchange the heat the correct way. So this motor here was junk. Uh, unfortunately for me, you know, I bought a truck, a real nice 135,000 mile truck that had, you know, engine damage. Um, more to neglect than anything else. So, you know, it's luck of the draw. I mean, every time I buy a truck, it's gambling. At the end of the day, this is why we take everything apart and double check every single part in the engine and in this in these trucks to make sure that the that the customer that's buying a truck from us is getting a quality piece that they can depend on and not be some you know some piece of shit in the future that causes them a bunch of you know heartache and pain and expense. The reason that you, you buy a truck from me is because we've done all this, we've checked all this out to make sure that you're not going to have these kind of problems. All right, y'all, this 2006 Lariat is still for sale. Um, just got the detail done on it. We actually had a deposit on this truck, but the man backed out. He couldn't put together the money. Uh, but you need to give Dana a call on this truck. I thought it was sold, but it turns out it didn't. Nice truck, clean truck, clean paperwork. It did have a theft recovery in its history somewhere, so it is a remanufactured title. Um, 183 it says on it there. Um, but, you know, standard leather interior. Some people like this little flip-up console. I love it because, you know, I like the old lady to ride right next to me. Most of the time, when we're, when we're talking, when we're speaking to one another, you know, there's those times, you know, if you've been married, you know what it's like. Just well cared for. You know, inside and out, it's, it's like the back seat's never even been sat in. we got to put some shocks in it. We've got a bunch of little shit we got to do to this truck to get it done. I mean, finish, look at the finish in that. I don't know if this thing actually picks up. Look at the look at the 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 actual metal flake. I, you know, I didn't know these trucks were metal flake until we started putting this uh, finish on here, the ceramic finish, and it's just amazing what you find. We got we got to send it to the paint shop. Uh, this this panel's got to get painted uh, because there was some uh, a previous repair that didn't do so good. Here's passenger side. You know. Just a nice clean truck. I mean, this is what they're supposed to look like. Something you can ride down the road and pride. I don't know about those chrome mirrors, but they're there. You know, just clean, clean. 
all the way around. Yeah, we got to put the Mishimoto radiator in yet. When we put this one together, we were out of them, but the shipments come in. We got the Mishimoto filtration, new batteries. Uh, of course, all of the uh, the lifetime dealer proof has been done. The cylinder heads, uh, gaskets, uh, EGR cooler, oil cooler, um, head studs, everything's there. Uh, if you want to list the email to you of what exactly has been done in this truck, we'd be happy to do it. Just email me, bill at powerstrokehelp.com, and I'll send it to you. Um, I'll give you the full retail receipt of what got done to this truck. Uh, obviously, new coolant bottle. Uh, but she's, you know, she's ready to go. Be a fine truck for somebody. You know, go down the road in. It's an absolutely beautiful blue color. Um, and it looks as though it's been reasonably well cared for. It's not one that's been, you know, not one that's been beat on. It's some old junk work truck, you know. It's got dents all through it. Next one we got here is Goldilocks 2005 F250 4x4 crew cab, 174,500 miles roughly. Uh, it hasn't been a detail yet, so it's not as shiny as it's going to be. We did have to paint this fender. The clear coat was messing up on it, so they hadn't put the emblem on yet. Uh, and it was a little clear coat had to get fixed up there. But it's at this stage where it's uh, going to go in for the detail shop now. All of the mechanical restoration has been performed. It's already got the uh, edge tuning engine management system. Uh, we sent the center console out. It's getting fixed. Um, but clean truck. I mean, nice clean truck. Arizona Gold, I believe they call this color. Um, you know, it's got the flip-up seats. Look like they've never been sat in. You guys buy these crew cabs, they never, they never use them hard. Bed's in nice shape. It did appear as though it's had a fifth wheel in it, or some sort of, you know, trailer towing system. You know, it was the lighter weight when it didn't have the big brackets under here, um, but obviously it was bolted in right there. So it's obviously done some towing, but yet there's no plug back here. Um, usually, you know, somebody who's towing seriously, there'll be a plug back here. You know, so it's the bed's really just never had anything in it. it looks like there was a hitch in here, and it got used some, but it's it's hard to say how much. Um, you know, nice and straight though. This has not been a work truck. It's not been beat on. Got aftermarket exhaust on it. The tires are, I don't know, decent. They'll get you home. Probably you're a little less than 50% tread. It's probably the only dent in the whole truck right there. You know. Uh, but pretty clean and straight all the way around. Uh, needs a new home. Um, had a bunch of interest in this truck, but nobody stepped up to, you know, put a deposit on it yet. This one's got the Mishimoto already in it. Uh, coolant filtration, of course, all of the dealer proof that you've grown accustomed to having. New alternator. I can send you the whole list of everything that was done in this truck if you would like to have it. Powerbill at PowerStrokeHelp.com. Complete comprehensive list of everything that's been done. This truck's pretty much got everything done to it, except the alignment at this point and the detail. Um, but give Dana a call, and uh, he'll be happy to, you know, take your deposit and put your name on this one. All right, we got Big Red here. Needs new home. I mean, it's it's yet to be detailed. It's still filthy dirty. Uh, but all the mechanical restoration of this truck has been done. It actually did have a cloth interior when we started this, but we've uh, since moved up to a some leather seats we had out of one of our donor vehicles but just give you an idea of the level of what we we go back to is you know this is the piece that goes out there between the grill and the uh, headlights there uh, that goes up to the core support and you know we replace this stuff we, we put these trucks back mechanically like they're supposed to if you don't have that piece in there then the uh, radiator and AC are not going to cool as well during idle situation if you're in traffic and this piece is not here then you're going to notice your AC getting warmer. It's important to have the correct pieces on there uh, as the truck was designed to have or it, you know, things don't work correctly. You know, red crew cab. It's got a few little body issues. It's, I think that our detail guy can get most of this out. It looks like they touched it up with fingernail polish or something. Who the hell knows what they were doing. Tailgate is a particularly nice work piece of redneck art that they did here. I don't know what it is about the chain going across the back of the tailgate there, but that seems to be a prevailing uh, thing that I see in some of these trucks. It does have a gooseneck in it. It did work. The engine's been replaced in this truck. I can send you the full list of what we did to this truck, but it does have a gooseneck. It does appear as though they used it some. It's a good one. It's one of the better ones. It doesn't have a lot of dents. There's a couple little dents back here in the back. Of course, the tailgate's a mess, but the, but the truck for the most part is straight. You know, leather seat in the back. 
got the headache rack on it comes with some custom stickers you know got some sort of attitude going there country boy attitude you know the truck's been mechanically restored you know the pricing on this truck sort of varies from you know how far you want to or and you know a bent tailgate and a few dents in it or if you want to go the full distance of course Dana will give you a different price on that um, we replaced the headlights and the grill and all that stuff it had evidently it somewhere along the way had been uh, uh, broken uh, it was all damaged so we put all new stuff in there um, new batteries uh, there's a whole raft of parts we put under here new AC condenser new coolant bottle it's it's we went through the whole thing I mean the motor had to be replaced in this truck because it was full of water evidently it had had a, an EGR cooler failure and uh, that caused the uh, engine to get rusty on the inside but it's a 2006 F250 it's red you know depending on where you want to depending on where you want to go with the truck uh, how you want it to look and run uh, depends on the price I mean uh, just that's just where it's at of course we're going to detail it we're going to do everything we can to get this fancy uh, touch up that they did on this with this uh, nail polish we're going to get that straightened out depending on how far you want to go the body and the paint and all that uh, you know whether you want a new tailgate or how we're going to do this you know it really just it, the, the price depends on how you how far you want to go with the truck give Dana a call 404-538-4271 we got a 12 foot box truck it's a two it's listed as a 2004 okay this, this box truck has a story because I've actually sold this truck to the lift people we're friends we've known each other for a long time it's a 73 truck um, and we just had to put a high-pressure oil pump on it. It starts and runs great. Good tires on it. Um, good running truck, but it's a 12-foot box on an E350 chassis. And <clears throat> this truck actually caught fire. And it, it burned up the harness and whatnot uh, years ago. And we replaced the cab with a 2004 cab. So, you know, the VIN number says it's a 6-liter, but it is a 7.3 truck, okay? Uh, it's a, it was a 2002. Uh, it had an electrical fire. We fixed it. It's been fixed. This truck's been driven for the last, I don't know, six, seven years. I know that these guys have had it. I sold it to them. Uh, but it's a 12-foot truck. It's 240-something thousand miles on it. The tires are good. The brakes are 50%. And you can see inside the box that it's in good shape. It's a little bit dirty. Uh, but it's got this bonus going with it of this gasoline-powered Eaton compressor. I mean, it, the compressor comes with a hose reel. I mean, it's ready to go to work out in the field. These guys fix forklifts out in the field, so, you know, they had to have the equipment there. So there was a big workbench there, and it had toolboxes and all in here. And it does have a ramp. There is a pull-out ramp back here, 30 inches wide. Uh, but it is only a 12-foot truck. It's a short wheelbase truck, so it's not the long wheelbase truck. Um, but it's a, it's a good serviceable truck. It's got lots of miles left in it. I mean, it's, it's in good shape. It is, the body isn't all beat up. It isn't rusty. It's a southern truck. Um, you know, AC blows cold in it. And as you can see here, this is a 7.3 engine, the old dependable. We did put a transmission in this thing a couple years ago, too. So I know the transmission's good. But, I mean, if you're looking for a good work truck at a reasonable price with, a, you know, the old reliable 7.3 in it, then you need to give Dana a call. Got this one in from Texas. It is a theft recovery. This is my favorite kind of truck to buy. See, because it's body straight on it. You know, thieves like to steal good trucks. I, you know, I got to hand that to them. Uh, the, the bed is in very good condition. It's evidently had some sort of towing apparatus in it at one point. There seems to be something there. The holes are there. But it's, it's straight. The truck is straight. And the motor's messed up in it, which seats are missing, door panel's missing. You know, he didn't even break the steering column, which makes me think that somebody just took this sucker apart and put it by the side of the road and, oh, it got stolen and clicked the insurance because the motor's toast in it. But we'll put another one. But it's a nice, clean truck. I mean, it's it's obviously nice and nice and clean. It doesn't, I mean, when I say clean, I mean, it's not rusty. It's not beat. You know, it hasn't been used as a as a dog house for a herd, of, a herd of dogs. But we just got this one in from Texas. You know, they took all the headlights and grill and... You know, it's not a wreck. It's not a wreck. It's not, you know, it's not beat up. At one point, it was a nice, well-loved truck. Even got decent tires on it. But this is, you know, this one's off in the distance. It's going to take us a month or so to get it done and get the work done. What else we got coming, Dana? We got a Black King Ranch, right? We got a two-wheel drive Black King Ranch coming in. 
And you got a utility body truck coming in. Yeah, I got a little utility body truck coming in. And then we got uh, the Black King Ranch, and I think we got a Dooley, four-wheel drive Dooley coming too. The one with low miles on it. Low, well, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember. It's like I, I look at so many trucks in the course of a day. First of all, I'd like to thank all of our customers. Without y'all, we wouldn't be where we are. Bill has come up with an idea that he's developed into a concept about building a quality premium truck, and they demanded premium prices. A lot of folks call us and say, well, your pricing is a big secret, so I'm fixing to reveal the secret. We start off with our two-wheel drive, four-door trucks. They start in the low 20s. Then we go up to our Lariats, our four-door, four-wheel drive Lariats. They can go from the mid to high 20s. And then we finish it off with the King Ranches and the Harley Davidsons. They run anywhere from high 20s to low 30s. But in all cases, they're all premium trucks. We built them. Bill, when we started doing this, Bill said, look, you did such a good job on your truck, I want you to build a truck like this for my customers. And I want you to evaluate them and do just like you did on yours. And this truck was not pretty when we started. No. Okay, this truck here, I took a look at it like, Dana, what the hell are we going to do with this thing? And, you know, Dana has a background in printing. He's very good with color. He's very good with, with finding solutions, to, especially pinstripe. Pinstripe's his own little certain thing he just sort of digs. I, I swear he must have 50 rolls of pinstripe in there to get the pinstripe right. But, you know, we're working here to, we've combined forces here, uh, as we've done for many, many years, uh, to bring you as quality a product as we possibly can. It's mechanically and cosmetically restored. All of our trucks come with a two-year warranty on the motors. We either rebuild them or we recondition them. We've sold several trucks to California. And we cannot handle having a truck come back from California with a stupid little problem. So we go above and beyond. We're not your usual used car lot. When we finish these trucks and work on these trucks, we put new parts in them. We don't compromise and make excuses. We do them right, and that's why they cost what they do. But, for example, we had a guy come in the other day that bought a truck for $16,000. When we were done giving him his prices, he was at $20,000 for his motor work, front end work, transmission work, rear end work. He had $36,000 in that damn truck at that and, point. And, it, and it's, a, it's, a, it's a work truck. You know, it's not what we would call a permit finished truck. So, you know, you, yes, our trucks are more expensive, but quality is priceless. And that's how we strive here at Power Stroke Health and Power Stroke Specialty to make sure we deliver a quality product for a good price. Again, we appreciate your business. Thank you very much. And give us a call if you need a truck. You need your truck repaired. 404-538-4271. And he's got small children in his house. So don't call after 8 o'clock at night. Don't yeah. be calling from Alabama all drunk talking, hey, we'll buy a truck, okay, at 2 in the morning. And the one guy that caught up said, I thought Dana was a 430-year-old friend. Well, I used to be 30, and I used to be a brunette. I just was never a female. <laughs> Again, we appreciate your business. Thank you. And yes, we can do this all day long. <laughs> Don't get us started. <laughs>